Blessed morning, blessed morning, blessed morning. Blessed morning, blessed morning, blessed morning, blessed morning, blessed morning. Blessed morning, blessed morning. We're going to worship for a little bit this morning. There's something about your name, Jesus. There's something about you and it frees us. There's something about your name, Jesus. I ask that as you come in, please share the live. There's something about you and it frees us. Bless morning, bless morning, bless morning. Bless morning, bless morning, bless morning. today we're gonna worship today please share the live this morning please share the live there's something about your name jesus there's something there's something about you and it frees us oh it frees us there's something about the name jesus there is something about the name Jesus. There's something about the name Jesus. His name is Yahweh. Please share the live this morning. Please share the live this morning. His name is Yahweh. Let my life be the sacrifice that pleases. Oh, we thank the Lord this morning. You are the one who holds my heart, Jesus. Let my life be the sacrifice that frees us. Bless morning, bless morning, bless morning. Please share the live today. Yes, God, yes, God. We thank the Lord this morning. God is good and he is worthy. There is something about the name Jesus. Yes. Yeah. 
That's his name. Jehovah. Jehovah. Oh, we thank the Lord this morning. Oh, we thank God this morning. I, I want to uh, talk to you this morning about something that the Lord dropped in my spirit. And I don't think that I'm going to be before you too long. Uh, but I want to talk about repentance this morning. And uh, a lot of times, you know, we don't want to talk about repentance because uh, we don't like to repent. We like to walk in sin. And we can't walk in sin serving God. Now, someone may say, well, pastor, we all sin every day. Yes, we do. We fall short of God's glory each and every day. You are correct. However... I'm talking about sin that you freely do, that you think that no one sees it. Now, some of y'all might not like me after I give this morning encouragement, and that's okay. I'm going to still love you. Uh, y'all got to bear with me. I'm trying to get situated. But I, I, want to, I want to talk about repentance because we have gotten into a day and time where uh, people will say that, they are obeying the word of God and think that because man doesn't see what they're doing, that God doesn't see. And and I want you to understand, uh, blessed morning to everyone that is joining. I ask that if you are on the morning encouragement this morning, please share. Just hit the share button. Share this live uh, somewhere. It doesn't cost you to hit the share button, but it, it could truly bless someone's life. Um uh, we, we find that a lot of people are deteriorating away from God because of man, uh, because people have been hurt. Uh, some people call it church hurt. Uh, some people have been hurt by the leaders. They've been hurt by people in the congregation. Uh, you have to understand that just as if you fall short of the glory of God, so does the people. But where we miss out is that it, it is God who we are uh, answering to it is God who who we are looking and seeking for it is not man uh, it is very important that you repent and repenting is dying of yourself and, and submitting yourself to God and you should die to yourself daily now you should not repent for something that you know you're going to continuously do right because you're you're just doing it just to be doing it. Repentance should be that your heart is asking God and, and truly desiring uh, to be forgiven of the things that you've done. Uh, and I find it where uh, people I think that because people do not know what they're doing, that God does not know. God is a great God that sits high and he looks low. That means that he sees and he knows all things. So it is very important that you are increasing your spirit with God, your journey with God, because you want to get into heaven. And I come to encourage you this morning to get your soul in order, because in order to see God's kingdom, you have to obey his word. It didn't say just because man does not see you that you'll get into heaven because God sees you. And and we don't want to go before God and, and here depart from me because I do not know you. Uh, if you know that you're dealing with some type of addiction or, you know, you're doing things. And, and, and the other night in Bible study, we talked about how sin is sin. Stop categorizing sin as one sin is greater than the other. Sin is sin. So who can get you out of a place where you're sinning? God can but it requires some 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 uh, help from yourself, right? It, it requires you to uh, want to discipline your spirit enough to obey God's word. And some people may say, well, the word and the obedience and the people say I should do this and the people say, but what does the word say? Because the word didn't say you you couldn't preach with jeans on. That That's not in the word. But religion will tell you that. But if you do not know the word for yourself, how do you know what is religious and what is God? 
And what I mean by what is religion, I mean things that man has created, rules and, and all these things put in place. Yes, the church has to be kept in order, but there are certain things that if you do not read the Bible, you will be led astray. I don't want you to walk down the right path. This journey is not about me. It is about God's will. And you have to find yourself in a position where you are seeking God for your own self diligence, that you are coming before the Lord, prostrated in posture, in position, allowing God to speak to you. There are a lot of things going on in our society today. Man cannot change this world. And we put our trust in man. Man cannot, man cannot take us away from the things that are going on in this world. But you know who can? What does the scripture say? That if my people, it didn't say man. It says if my people, that means it's a group of men, a group of men and women. If my people who are called by my name. The Israelites stayed in the wilderness for 40 years. They were only supposed to be there for three days. Are you still trapped in the wilderness because you will not die to self? Because you will not obey the voice of God? How imperative is it to know what the scripture says? It says, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I'll fear no evil. Because God is with me. So if you understand that God is with you, you got to get yourself together. I keep saying it is time to get your house in order. Get your house in order doesn't mean I, 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 you know, I'm receiving blessings. No, that means that you need to get your soul salvation right with God. That it is your responsibility as a believer to go and get yourself right with God. Be ye holy because I am holy, the Lord says. He didn't say that you wouldn't fall. That's why he sent his son to die on the cross. He sent his son to die on the cross because he knew that us walking in flesh, we weren't going to be able to do it. But you got to repent. You, you have to repent. You have to die to yourself. You can't get you out of where you are. You have to trust and rely on God. Jesus is your source. Jesus is the way out. No, the walk is not easy. Because temptation comes to try to shift you away from walking in the obedience of God. But let me tell you something. As Samuel was speaking to Saul, he told him, obedience is better than sacrifice so therefore you have to make sure that you are being obedient to God some of you miss the blessings of what God has for you because the familiarity if it's not the person that I desire to hear then I can't hear it if the Lord shows you someone and says their spirit is not right, that's something totally different. That's discernment. But if you are not worshiping God because you, it's not the person that you're accustomed to, you're going to miss out on a lot of deliverance. You're going to miss out on a lot of yokes being broken and chains being lifted off of you because your, your mindset and your spirit is worshiping man and not worshiping the Father. When the Word of God is in your belly, when the Word of God is in you, it doesn't even take a person to get you to open your mouth you will freely give praise unto God repent today people of God repentance should be something that you're doing because you desire to die of yourself and walk for Jesus not walk for me but walk for Jesus it is important that song says it is something about the name Jesus it is something about it and it frees us it frees us because that's why he came to die he came to set us free we have to walk in truth the truth will do what it will set you free and those who the son I'm talking about the s o n not s u n those who the son have set free are free are free indeed do you want to be set free? Are you ready to let go of everything that has kept you in bondage? 
It's time, people of God, to let go of the things that keep us separated from our Father. It's time, people of God, to seek ye first the kingdom of heaven and all of God's righteousness. It's time to be sober-minded and well-balanced in our spirits. The joy of the Lord is your strength. And know that God is always with you. The scripture says there is no weapon formed against you that shall prosper. And every tongue, it didn't say some tongues, it said every tongue that rises up against us in judgment shall be condemned be delivered from people and I know a lot of people don't like to hear this message I, I'm not coming on here talking about you gonna get a house and you gonna get a car no that's not that's not my purpose now if the Lord dropped that in my spirit I'll tell you but that's not my purpose my purpose is to speak how you should be walking with God and trust you me I, I have to walk it too so it's a reminder to myself repent as I was preparing for the live this morning, Lord, what am I going to discuss? And I heard the Lord say, repent. We have to repent. You have to learn how to die to self and submit yourself unto God. The Bible says, submit yourself unto the Lord. Resist the devil and he will flee. So some people think that they can command Satan to flee when they haven't submitted themselves to the Lord. That's not going to work. That that That's not going to work. It's not about being perfect. It's about being faithful. It's not about being perfect. Please hear me. Because, because some of you miss it. Because you feel that if you're not perfect... You're not pleasing God. That's not what the Bible tells us. Every prophet that we read about, in some way, somehow, some form, they fell short. When we hear the stories, all men fall short of the glory of God. But you have to repent because you're dying to self. It is God's will to be done, not your will. Stop taking God's credit. Stop taking God's glory. Some of you got promotions and, oh, you know, I got that because I'm such a great employee. You know, you didn't because you ain't even have the qualifications. How did you even get the credentials? How did you even stay at the job? Some of you got leadership promotions in your church. It's because the favor of God is on your life. Stop taking God's glory. The glory, all of the glory belongs to God. I just use the job situation as, a, as as something that all of us, we work. Most of us, we work, so we understand. Some of you have been placed in positions that you do not even have the credentials for. But because God sees your, your effort, because God sees your obedience, because God sees your heart, he increased you. Some of you have difficulties with your family. And the Lord has put you in a position to just learn how to pray. Because you can't change your family, but God can by you praying. But God needs to get the glory. God, I know and believe that you're going to do it for my family. God, I thank you for the increase that you gave me on my job. God, I thank you for ordering and positioning my, positioning my steps. And some of you may be in a position, and, and, and this is this is even for me, I, I, I'm not at a job where I'm working to the capacity that I used to. I'm getting a relaxed moment because I'm used to being pulled in a thousand directions at my job. That's not the case right now. And I thank God for that because God knows when he's sending something in your life and when he's getting ready to shift you. To all God, to God be all the glory because God knew where he was taking me spiritually. So in the natural, he had to mellow me out a little bit because I can't be drained in two places. We have to repent and ask the Lord to guide our steps. It says a good man's steps are ordered by the Lord. 
Who's ordering your steps today? Are you repenting today? Don't repent just because I said do it. Repent because your heart truly understands the reason of why it is required of you. It's time to get our lives right because God could come at any moment. If God were to come back right now, what is your destination? Truth be told, some of y'all ain't going to go to heaven. You can be mad. I love you anyways. I'm not, I'm not, listen, I'm, I'm over that somebody getting mad at me because I'm telling the truth. You just, I love you. The Bible says that God chastises us because he loves us. So I have to tell you the truth or I'm being disobedient and I'm not going to be disobedient. It is time for you to submit to God. Everything that has you being pulled away from God needs to die in your life now. Well, pastor, I, you know, I've been dealing with this for a long time. Okay, well, you need to start praying a whole lot. You need to start fasting. Fasting creates discipline. It it builds up your spirit, man, to fight against these things that are trying to pull you away from God. It's important, people of God. It is important. I got a cough. <coughs> you guys got to excuse me because I'm live. I ain't got no pause button. But it's very important. Very important. And understand that, yes, you're making an effort to get close with God. But just because you're making an effort doesn't mean that the next person is making an effort. So you can't compare your journey with someone else's journey. You can't expect someone to be where you are. If you want to see somebody grow, lay them at the altar. If you want to see somebody's life shift, lay them at the altar. You are your brother's keeper. It's time, people of God. If the Lord were to come back right now, where would you go? And if you don't know who Christ is, I offer him to you today. All you have to do is, Lord, I repent. Here I am. I accept Jesus in my heart as my Lord and Savior. Very simple. <coughs> and put in work for God. You know, sometimes we, we do things, and, and that's what I was saying in the beginning of the conversation, and I'm going to wrap it up um, so I can go. But we we do things in, this, in the spirit of offense, you know. Yes, yeah, sometimes people do things, and it makes you upset. I get it, right? But some of you are already walking in the spirit of offense. So somebody could sound like they saying something that triggers something in you and you just on the rampage when they're trying to give you a word from God. Right? The Bible says that we are to be not just hearers, but doers. So sometimes we hear, but we won't do. Right? You got to be both. You can, you, you. And, and 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 what does it say in the book of Revelations? You're either going to be cold or you're going to be hot. But you're not going to be in between. <coughs> Choose ye this day. Choose ye this day. Listen, I love y'all. I want to see everybody in the kingdom. But I'm not going to always come on here and, and God going to play. No, we, we, we <laughs> you need to get your, you need to get your house in order. It's important. Yeah, I, I struggle with some stuff too. I, I'm not scared to tell the truth. Tell the truth, shame the devil. But God knows your heart. In the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. So some of y'all that keep gossiping and y'all keep cussing people out and, oh, God, know my heart. Yes. And from the abundance of your heart, your mouth speaks. It's not what goes in the man that defiles him, but it's what comes out of him. Right. That's what the word says. That's not what I'm saying. So we have to understand. And the problem is we don't know the word. So we don't know the word. 
So because we do not know the word, we get easily to be astray. We have many pro uh, prophets that are speaking prosperity, not saying that prosperity cannot be spoken, but there is a difference between prophesying and being a prophet. A prophet, if, if you look in the book of Exodus, as we are studying uh, in Bible study, God, the prophet is the mouthpiece. Right. They get a word from God and they speak it. Prophecy is when you're making a decree and declaration over your life. If you got to pay me just for me to or sow a seed into me just for me to give you a prophecy, uh, I'm not a prophet. Because there is no prophet that God used when God was using Moses. He did not tell Moses they have to pay you first for you to, to speak to them what I need you to say. God says, I command you and Aaron to go do such and such. I command you and Aaron to say these things, not collect first and then speak after. But we are so in interest to hear something that we're going to gain. How about gaining your entry into heaven? Because that's the greatest reward that you can ever have. What does it profit a man to gain the whole world, but to lose his soul? See, I'm giving you, I'm giving you scripture this morning. It is time to get your heart, your mind, your soul salvation in order with God. Because the kingdom is at stake. Repent, people of God. Do the Lord's will. Let God's will be done in your life. <laughs> Let God's will be done in your life. I, I listen. I, I love you all so much, and I, I say, God, repent. Yes, we're not repenting. We praying about everything else. We talking to God about everything else. God, you know they hurt me today. They 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 just. You know, God, I, you know, I need a car, Lord. God, I know I, I know I did this and I know I was fornicating last night. I know I was committing adultery. Mm -hmm. But God, you know my heart. Huh? You better repent and get your house in order. Mm -hmm. Read the word, people of God. Study the word. I'm not talking about no, oh, I opened up my Bible and, 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 and a scripture popped up today. I mentioned that when I was preaching the other day. Uh, you know, you open up the Bible and the scripture text, you know, pop up and, and, and you call that considering reading for the day. That is not reading for today. Now, I'm not saying if you skip a day or so that, you know, you're going to be perse persecuted. No, what I'm saying is that you need to know the word. You need to know the word so that when things come about in your life, you can speak the word of God. That is what the word is there for. It is our instructions. It is our guidance. It is uh, the way that we should live. And someone could tell you, oh, why do people read the Bible? Man created the Bible. Listen, God gave man the words to put in that Bible. Because when I can go in the Bible and be going through a situation in my life and the Lord opens me up to a scripture text in the Bible or I hear to go to this and I open it up and it blesses me to come out of what I'm in. The Bible was given by God. In the beginning was the word. And the word was God. The word helps you to grow. The word helps you to fight. The word helps you to keep pushing when you don't have the strength. It is the word of God. Yes, yeah, I'm sorry, Abba. Call to your father. Amen, Sister Andrea. Because the thing is, and, and, and forgiveness, you got to free your heart. Free your heart from the things that keep you in captivity. Some of you won't forgive somebody because you feel like you're serving them some type of justice. It's not them that reaps the reward of you forgiving. You reap the reward. 
The forgiveness is for you, not for them. And we have to forgive. Right? Some of y'all say y'all walk with God. Y'all just as mean. How you going to be mean and be saying you a follower of Jesus? Jesus wasn't mean. He was truthful. But he wasn't mean. And we got to get out of this mentality that if you doing better than me, I can't applaud you. The devil is a lie. We got to come out of the, 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 this place that we're in, people. It's time to shift. We all are to be great. We are heirs to the throne. And it is God that desires us to walk the way he wants us to walk. God bless you, woman of God. The Lord knows what we need when we need it, and how we need it. And I ask, please share this live because people need to repent. People need to get their house, this, this house, in order. A lot of people don't know how to worship God if they're not in the church, but you're the church. You. Stand for God. Stand for holiness. Don't get spewed out of the mouth of God because you lukewarm. He will spew you out of his mouth. Jesus I know. Peter I know. Paul I know. Susie, I know you don't want to hear, <laughs> get your house in order, people. I'm calling out names, but y'all know what the scripture text says about that. Serve God so that the enemy knows who you are because you are serving God. Not because you're serving him. Yes, you will have to fight. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood. So grow, people of God. Get your spirit and your house in order. I pray that something that I've said this morning has helped someone. I, I'm not trying to scare you into serving God. Well, you need to do something. You need to do something. Tomorrow's not promised. You don't have to be perfect. You don't have to be perfect. That's not what God is looking for. Man wants you to be perfect. God just wants you to come and be obedient. Hear him and do what he requires of you. That's not that difficult. And if you are around people who encourage you to do things and say, oh, God will forgive you, get away from them people. I hear that in my spirit. Somebody's dealing with somebody that encourages you to do wrong and just say, oh, well, God will forgive you. He understands. But you knew it was wrong. Obedience is better than sacrifice. Him. Who's him? Jesus. H-I-M-M. -M. He is molding me. We pray. We P-R-A-Y. We prioritize righteousness around you. We're hashtagging addicted to Jesus. Uh, S2P. We want your soul to prosper. Uh, we bought that Jesus life. We stay ready. We chucking up them deuces to Satan because he got away. He got to go. He got to pack all his bags because we ain't scared. Right? Uh, I am bad. I am B-A-D. I am blessed and delivered. We're rocking with the best. J-E-S-U-S. They play checkers, we play chess because we're strategic in how we serve the Lord. Tighten up. We live a life of prosperity. We're hashtagging we are restored. Pump your brakes. Mm. Use me, Lord, for your glory. 
Stop being extra. You cannot be healed from what you do not reveal. You are what you answer to. If they're not calling you a child of God, guess what? Stop answering to it. They can call you every name in the book. Mm -mm, that ain't who I am. I know my name. And God knows my name. Right? Very important. We do not shake. We shift. We pray together. We praise together. We're kingdom for life. Don't just say it. Pray it. I'm sorry. Don't say it. Just pray it. Uh, do not compromise who and what you are in Christ for anyone or anything. God will bring you out without a doubt. Trust God when you cannot trace him. We will not bow to anything or anyone but Jesus. We bow to Jesus. We bow to our God. And we love him. We're not living in a pandemic. We're living in a shiftemic. The Lord is still moving in our midst, even though a pandemic has hit our land. Stay in your lane. Your lane is God. I trust you. I might not understand it, but I trust you. Right? That's your lane. Right? <laughs> we worship us, baby. We stay ready so we don't have to get ready. We will not be moved. You cannot evangelize and antagonize at the same time. And you guys know, it's that time. For our most personal favorite. The one of which we love the most. <laughs> Drum roll, please. We kingdom, baby. Listen, we're kingdom, we're kingdom, we're kingdom. We walk in a kingdom mentality. We walk in a kingdom authority. We're kingdom, baby. Represent the kingdom of God. And know that God is with you. And we are the willers, baby. I give honor to Minister Sean. Uh, he is around me, but he's not on the live this morning. Um, but we give honor to him in his absence from the morning encouragement. And we just give honor to God today. You know, we give honor to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. You know, that's the moment where I should see everybody just flicking hearts all across the screen. Because uh, when you honor God... You know that God is, is, is great and he deserves all the hearts, all the loves, all the likes, all the everything. Um, and we thank God. We thank God. And, and here, here's the thing where you can help bless someone and where the Lord is going to use you in is where you're usually attacked the most. And, and it is because you have to be built up to endure for the race is not won by the strong or the swift but to the one that endures to the end and of course i am uh, paraphrasing the scripture but excuse me it's very important to understand that endurance is a, definitely a key fundamental thing that we need in our lives so this morning again i encourage you to repent die of self and do what god's will is for your life not my will god but your will to be done and we know that the lord will be with you we thank the lord today i want you to stay encouraged and remember to encourage someone today keep your head up keep your head up right smile <laughs> know that you matter that you're important and that you mean something trust in the lord and do good and know that ye shall always be fed and that ye shall dwell in the land forever Know that all things that they work for the greater good for those of us who love the Lord and who are called according to his purpose. Seek ye first the kingdom of heaven and God's righteousness. And in all things acknowledge him in all of your ways and he will direct your path. Be sober minded, well balanced and vigilant in your spirit because that enemy of yours, the devil, he roams around like a fierce lion and he's seeking for someone to devour. God bless you people of God. Walk with God today and know that God loves you. And so do I. Have a blessed day in the Lord. Tomorrow is uh, our family meeting, 8 o'clock. If you would like to join on the line with us, the number is 561-214-8410. The access code is 909648. Uh, and that is 8 a.m. tomorrow, Eastern Standard Time. Uh, we pray, we worship, and the Lord, if the Lord gives us a message, uh, we provide that message. We allow the Lord to move. Uh, it is God's will to be done, and we adhere to that. With The Holy Spirit is always welcome where we are. And we want to wish my sister, uh, Sister Ava, a happy birthday today. Uh, we love you, Sister Ava. God bless you. Happy birthday. Uh, may God continuously give you more years 
of wonderful life. She is the most beautifulest person that I know. I tell you, her heart is just as pure as gold. And we love you. God bless you, people. Remember, repent and know that it is not your will, but God's will to be done. God bless you. Have a blessed day and a prosperous day in the Lord.